Hey guys and girls, only me. I just want to do a quick video um, in regards to the, excuse me, the word. Um, I'm obviously working through uh, the Bible in my in my only work, walk with God, with Jesus, and I've just started Isaiah, and I just want to go through the first chapter with you because isn't it amazing exactly what the prophet uh, was given by God, the words he was given how they relate especially to the last two years especially you can remember 2000 2021 in particular <laughs> i'm sure you haven't forgotten um a lot of it relates to them and then now so i just want to start off at verse seven and your country is desolate your cities are burned with fire what happened 2021 last year with all the burnings of the cities in america and all the Black Lives Matter protesters smashing shops and destroying livelihoods and literally killing people, murdering people. These sanctuary cities being built everywhere where everybody just can do what they want to do. Sounds very similar, doesn't it? Strangers devour your land in your presence. Again, you could look at this in so many ways um all around the world you know with the immigration crisis globally so you're looking at over here in the uk all the fighting aged males coming over hardly any you know women and children coming over in these dinghies and these boats and uk immigration's happily helping them um with no restrictions <laughs> no covid passports um you could say the same though they're America with the millions and millions of people being trafficked through it. It's blatantly what's going on when you've got children drugged out to, up to their eyeballs and not even able to walk, slobbering and falling over themselves and floppy body. And it's going on every day. Thou hundreds of thousands of people are going through the borders every day. You could see what they tried to do over in Poland. When they tried invading over there. And how Poland actually did the right thing. And stood up and protected their borders. <laughs> it's just amazing isn't it. It's just amazing how spot on this prophet. Through God's word. At that time. This is before Jesus. This is the prophet. That was given the word that proclaimed that Jesus. Emmanuel. Was to come. So remember that. Uh, so I'm going to continue reading. Strangers devour your land in your presence. And again, this was done in your presence. You could see it out on the streets. You could watch it on the TV. You could see it online. It was done all in your presence. And it is desolate. As overthrown, um, as overthrown by strangers. Again, could relate this to how so many infiltrations in so many different countries. Look at China. Look at Iran, look at Ukraine, look at Russia. And how the enemy was blaming one particular guy when it was actually them. And they were self-projecting. Like over here in the UK, we had this big thing with the Chinese company Huawei. And how they were using their, uh, trying to use their 5G technology in the trade. And it was anything really that Boris had the balls to stand on and not, not let that happen so um but if you think about again like mr gates and how he's buying all the farmland and how china are buying all properties and farmland and how blackrock all over the world are purchasing all these properties suddenly something to ponder on so the daughter of zion is left as a booth in a vineyard as a hut in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city, unless the Lord of hosts had left to us a very small remnant, we would have become like Sodom, we would have become like Gomorrah. Isn't that interesting? So obviously we know what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah. They're completely destroyed. So if it wasn't really, <laughs> you got to think about this. Again, it's like a pre it's a proclamation, isn't it? 
that if it wasn't for Jesus bringing us back to the Father, we would be like Sodom and Gomorrah, completely destroyed. Or even if you can look at that even as a, like a reflection of this is what Sodom and Gomorrah would have looked like. And it's even also to the destruction of it as well, what it possibly could have looked like. Because of the destruction within itself. Again, it's just something that I'm feeling. Hear the word of the Lord, your ruler, O Sodom. Give ear to the Lord of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me? This is God saying this, said the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or goats. When you come to me, appear before me. Who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Corrupt courts that we're seeing all over the world. Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies. I cannot enjoy iniquity and sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts. My soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am wary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear your hands are full of blood. And it's exactly what's going on right now. Our hands are full of blood. You've got to imagine the innocents over the centuries, millennia, that have died innocently to the hands of the evil. Cruelty. Think about it. Really think about it. I'm not just talking about war. I'm talking about the sick, sadistic, evil things that go on behind closed doors in the front cleansing image of religion or government or institutions. Even personas, personalities. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. God sees everything all the time. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor, which means you have the power to rebuke the oppressor. All these dictators in these countries, all these evil institutions and foundations and governments, everything. You have the power to rebuke it. And aren't we seeing that with these demonstrations? These freedom rallies all over the world, all over the world. I'm not going to single one out all over the world. And isn't it funny that the enemy strifes up even more in anger to demonstrate their authority and their dominion over you when we all unite in love and togetherness, no matter what your culture is, no matter what your color is, no matter what language you speak. When we all unite, it's evident they all fear us. That's why their violence increases. That's why their so-called strangle grip when our financial freedoms as our lively freedoms and our spiritual freedoms tries to tighten. Well, guess what? <laughs> you honestly think God's going to allow this? Let's continue. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. So we've got to go to the innocent and wrap our arms around them and take care of them right now. And we've got to continue doing that. We should have been doing that. But we've been so disconnected from each other on purpose. That's the point. Again, separating us from each other. United. In the love of Jesus and the love of God. Because I can tell you now, if we had that, we would all be looking out for each other. It's in these scriptures right here. It tells you exactly what we should be doing as a community. Love for one another. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Do you know what? God is so powerful. The creator of everything is giving you and I the air we actually breathe. And some even say that when we breathe, we're actually saying his name. So powerful. Yet he has the compassion, the wisdom and intelligence and the love, the adoring love. 
for his children, even the ones that are doing this evil, to say, come now and let us reason together. You realise, just like that, you could destroy every creation he's ever created. Yet he loves you that much. He's asking for you to come and discuss through prayer and everywhere else. Any, anywhere else that you communicate with your father. Come and reason with him. Come and listen to his reasons and what he wants for you. Isn't that powerful enough? Isn't that a demonstration enough to show you how much he loves you? And how much you've been lied to? Through religion. Through government. Through institutions. Through your idols. So the system itself. You have to understand God is absolutely good and wonderful in everything that he does and creates because he loves you so much. And that's what it's all based on. That's why we've gone through so much tribulation and so much um, trouble. It's because he's still trying to claim those and get those back to him that have done this evil. Look at Psalm. Look how evil and bad that man was. Yet he was the only one that survived and lived out his days as, as an apostle. And was a clear demonstration for his love for Jesus, for our father, Jehovah. Just something to think about there. All right, guys, I love you. Take it easy. I look forward to sharing my experience and, and lessons learned with you in the next video coming soon.